What's good guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be initially verifying a 630 amp supply. So all the work's been done. We're gonna run through some dead tests, run through some live tests and show how to fill out the test inside of the paperwork. I'm not gonna get into detail with all the boring bits and the tick sheets and all that sort of stuff, but I thought we could run through the initial verification test process together on this 630 amp supply. Let's run the intro and get into it. Right, so the first thing we need to do is start filling out the circuit information. So I'm gonna go into the circuit menu, add a new circuit. I'm gonna name it in a bit um, because I don't want you guys to know what's going on, only because I'm not allowed to tell you that. Um, we've got thermoset and SWA cables. We've got it um, spaced by one cable diameter, basically in free air, serves one point. Um, we have got 185s, haven't we? We've also got a 185 CPC. Maximum disconnection time is five seconds. Um, we've got an MCCB, 60947-2 MCCB. It's rated at, it's rated at 630 amps. Short circuit capacity of 50 kA, easy. The maximum ZS um, I'll have to pull off of the um, off of the design, it hasn't got an RCD, so we'll just NA all of that. Um, it's not going to be a ring, so we'll just NA all of that. Cool, so that's all been NA'd. We're not going to do an R2 test, so that's been NA'd. Um, we done it at 500 volts and it was clear. Um, greater than 1049 greater greater than 1049 um, but we are going to do another insulation resistance test uh, today but yeah that was the result initially polarity is going to be fine we are going to verify that but I'm just going to tick that now again RCD is NA, AFDD's NA. Um, so yeah, I think we're all good. I do just want to press save. Okay, we'll just put cell to Unico drive. Okay. Um, I can't remember the circuit number. I'll bang that in in a bit. That's saved. I do need to try and find this maximum uh, fault loop impedance rating. Right, there we go. So we've got a uh, maximum ZS of 0.05. There you can see it there, 0.05. So now I can just go back onto here. We can find that maximum permitted ZS tab. There we go, 0.05. There we go. And then now we can just continue on with the initial verification process. So I'm not gonna go through any of the tick sheets or anything like that. We're just gonna cover the testing today, but I thought I'd show you how to initially verify a circuit and do all the required tests. So we're gonna do an R1, R2, so that's just a dead test of the, the phase conductors and the earth conductor to make sure we've got continuity end to end and yeah, everything is sweet. We're then gonna do insulation resistance testing. We're just gonna do that at 250. I've already done it at 500 volts, but we're gonna do it again at 250. Now everything's connected with the parallel paths and just check that, yeah, the cable is intact, etc. Then we're going to do a maximum measured uh, fault loop impedance, which is basically going to, yeah, measure the the impedance, not the resistance, going to measure the impedance, which is basically R1, R2 under live conditions and the ZDB, the incoming characteristics. And it's going to give us a value. That one is the important one. That one is the one that we need to be under 0.05 so that this breaker trips on time and uh, yeah, everything's sweet. So if we've done our design correctly and everything, then uh, yeah, we should be on the money. But this is why you uh, why you test and why you prove it. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's all right. I've already got the test kit out and stuff and I've actually already got this ready to go. So we've got the QTEC KT66DL. We've got two crop leads. We've got one on L1 
and one on Earth. So this is ready to do, yeah, R1 and R2 between phase one and Earth. I'm gonna go through all three phases just to make sure that that's sweet. Um, we can get this on. Well, that's not gonna be much good without going to the other end where we put this away in the panel and uh, creating a link between L1 and Earth. All right, so I left these here earlier. We're gonna have to remove this padlock because it interlocks, so you can't actually get the door open even though it's locked off. Uh, so I remove that padlock, put it back on, and then, yeah, get this side panel off. So I'll catch you guys in a sec. Panel's still locked off, so no one can kill me whilst we're doing this. Um, this is, I've proven this dead. Um, it's off anyway. I know the switch works, but it's always good practice. So now I'm just gonna bang a link between here and here. Grab this crop clip, put it on there. Grab this one, put it on there. So that is L1 linked out to Earth. So now we can go back upstairs and get our first R1, R2. All right, so back up here. I wanna make sure I'm continuity. Hopefully we get a result. There we go, 0 0.02. That is just what we wanted. Just what we wanted. Um, yeah, perfect. So now I'm gonna, yeah, jot that down for L1. Move this over. We can go and test L2. All right, back in here. We can move this over to L2, hopefully. All right, we're on there. Test. 0 0.02, perfect. Oh, 0 0.02. All right, back in here. I'm gonna try and get this on L3, but I think I'm gonna have to move it. I can get that in the middle, that'd be nice again, middle of the two. There we go. Sweet. And here we want to get this on L3. Let me compress test. 0 0.02, lovely, as expected. And nice and low. Excuse my hand right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm basically illiterate. So now we're gonna do insulation resistance tests between earth and all phases and all phases, etc. But before we do that, I need to go back downstairs and remove that link, because that would cause me, cause me problems. While I'm down here, I'll also be able to get this all put back together and locked off because we don't need this open anymore. And if anything, in a minute, I'm gonna to need to turn that isolator on for the first time and energize the circuit. Remove the lock so I can get this back on. And then want to get it padlocked off again. There we go. That wants to go back in there. We also want to make sure this is locked. There we go, cool. So now we can go do our IR tests. So we want to jump onto insulation resistance. We want to drop down to 230 volts or 250 um, because we've got all sorts of electronics and stuff like that in here that we don't want to get, we don't want to get freaky with. So we're going to start by going between all three phases and earth. It's so greater than 209.9. Greater than 209.9 megaohms. Greater than 209.9, lovely. So we'll clear on them. And now we can go between the phases. So we're gonna go between L1 and L2. Greater than 209.9. L1 and L3. 
greater than 209.9 .9. and then between L2 and L3 greater than 209.9. .9. So that is our dead test done. That is also confirmed polarity. Uh, obviously we've done a 500 volts test during the installation phase, 250 test there. I think I'm actually gonna, I don't know, I guess I jot down the 250 test because the results of that, because it's a lower megaohm value or lower maximum megaohm value. When I test at, um, at 500, it's like greater than a thousand megaohms. But when you test at 250, it's yeah, greater than 209. So. Yeah, I'll drop that one down uh, and we'll go put the R1 and R2 in there. In fact, let's, let's go do that now. Right, so our R1, R2 was 0 0.02. So we've got that. So we've got that jotted down in there. Enter. And then, see, you need to, it needs to be tested at 500 volts though. So I'm actually going to leave that. It's been tested at both, but... Yeah, I never know what to do on that one. Let me know what you guys do. Um, but yeah, we're happy like we're happy with polarity. So now, now we just need to go and test our maximum uh, fault loop impedance. Right, so for this test, I'm gonna get this. Uh, we want it on higher resolution, all sorted. I'm gonna have this hanging off of here. I'm gonna try and connect it um, and then shut the door because I don't really fancy waving around, uh, yeah, those live copper bus bars. So we'll see how we get on. Only got a certain, only got a certain amount of distance on these leads, right? If we get get that on there, uh, that on there, I think that'll do. I'm gonna try and yeah, sort of keep this shut, I guess. Press the button and then uh, yeah, go turn it on and off. There'll be a lot of up and down, but it's a safer way to do it. Let's go turn it on. All right, let's do it. Ready? We are on. Uh, hopefully we've got 240. We have got 240, let's press test. 0.37, perfect. Literally, as we designed it, that's insane. That is actually insane. Um, cool, well that's the first one. 0.37, now we've got to go test L2 and L3. Right, turn it off, lock it off. Right, that is showing no voltage. There we go, we're on there. Good to go, let's go turn it back on. on let's have a look we've got 240 so let's press test 0.38 banging 0.38 again i'm gonna turn it off lock it off let's double check here we've got no voltage Get you onto L3. Move the isolation. Turn it on again. What have we got? 230, so let's press test. 0 0.40. 0.40. Right, that's our, our live tests complete on this one. Super simple with it just being a new three phase supply, no neutral. So now let's go get this turned off, locked off again, because we've got spiciness going on in there. And then we'll finish off this certificate. Well, a little bit of this certificate. All right, turn you off, lock you off, cool. Sweet. You lock and come with me. That is showing as dead. Get that off, get that off. Put the cover back on. Right, back over here, we can punch our maximum 
uh, measured in as 0 0.40. Cool, so let's press save. That is uh, location of dB and blah, 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 but that is our circuit anyway, verified. There's not a lot to it because it is just like a three phase, no neutral supply, no RCDs, you know, nothing, uh, fairly simple. Um, but yeah, that is the test process for initial verification. Obviously, if I go, if I go out of here, you know, you've got the schedule of items inspected. Um, so these all need to be ticked and inspected. You've got to fill out the address, the details and particulars of the installation, all of the origin stuff. But I didn't want to cover that today. I just wanted to cover the actual test process um, for, yeah, a new circuit, which hopefully you've seen in, yeah, quite some detail. If you'd want to see like a more detailed process on the actual filling out of the test certificate, the schedule of items to inspect, the paperwork side of things, maybe on a little bit more of a complex circuit or a more common one anyway, then I'd happily do that put it in the comments below but yeah i just thought i'd run through turning on this 630 amp supply together um testing my work testing my design you know for all to see <laughs> um luckily it was it was you know bang on i'm so relieved about that this is a big project for me um it, yeah just over the moon anyway as always thanks for watching if you haven't please subscribe especially if you're enjoying the videos and, and you're liking what you're watching um it helps me and it means you guys will never miss anything and i'll catch you lot on the next one